Hey guys, today we will introduce how to remove the aliasing on your model by using this anti-aliasing firmware on Fonten. Well, it's not necessary to do so if you find any cubic Fonten delivers a satisfying result. Let's go to anycubic3d.com to download the firmware. Unzip the files. And we can find two photos and an instruction. Read the instruction firstly. This firmware is a beta version. That's its anti aliasing function to photo. You can always go back to the previous firmware version. We are going to use the anti aliasing firmware. 4.2.17 firstly. Step 1. Copy and paste both three files to USB flash disk. Please do not put other files in the flash disk. Connect the disk to Fenton and power it on. Then we load the update.lcd firmware. That firmware will be updated automatically by default. Then the beep sound will be heard. But if that doesn't happen, we need to choose the file and click print to upgrade. Fenton will restart automatically when this is done. Then please find this bin file in the print menu and then click print to update. Then it's the same way to update this TXT file. After the update, turn off the Fenton and remove the USB flash disk. Restart Fenton and click the firmware information in the manual to check whether it's version 4.2.17. Step 2. Enable the AA function on the slicer. We will use to do box slicer to do that. To do box is compatible with Windows 32, 64, Mac, Unix. Please check your computer system and download the right version. Here we take Windows 64 as a reference. We install the to do box firstly. Okay, it's done. Then click the settings and click here to add the machine. Select any cubic folder and click OK. In the setting page, we can modify the settings. The settings here is just a demonstration. Then in the advanced section, we enable the anti aliasing feature which is off by default. Choose the level. Upon finishing, we close the setting dialog window and import a model to slice. Here we use an egg model as an example. Then preview your model. and click export to export a G-code file. Enjoy and print.